Truth be told, I didn't even think this was going to work, to be fair. I just thought, this is just going to be one of those things on the internet that you see and you just think to yourself, that's a great idea. And I love the look of it and it really blew my mind. But in practice, does that actually work? So ages and ages and ages ago, I did this video and it was a reaction video to those food photography tips and tricks. You know, the things that, that people do where they're pouring oil onto um, uh, uh, pancakes and stuff in order to get the right photo and to make sure that it, it does exactly what it looks like and the poster thing, you know, the McDonald's burger and that looks absolutely amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, but when you get it, it's like flat and, and sort of 3D old, 3D old burger kind of thing. And, and I did this reaction video to it and it blew my mind the stuff that they did in there. And one of them was using uh, PVA glue to uh, replicate milk in cereal when they're doing photo shoot for cereal and stuff. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and create, create a photo um, of a, 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 a cereal with some fruit um, and use PVA glue as the basis for the milk. So what have we actually got and what we're doing? Okay, so here we are. Here's what we've got. We've got two bowls uh, and we've got one set up for milk, one set up for PVA glue. Now, the PVA glue one, that one has jelly in the bottom and that is to really just to sort of give it a base and to stop us from having to fill the whole bowl with PVA glue effectively. So that gives a hard stand in for stuff to stand on and then we fill the PVA glue around it. And the non-PVA glue one is just a standard bowl. They're both exactly the same. They were both about £2.50 each, these bowls. So they're nothing special. And basically that's just gonna have cereal in it. And we're going to go and put some milk in there with the fruit and what have you. And then we're gonna take a look about half an hour later and we're gonna see exactly where we're at with these two uh, uh, bowls. So what cereal are we going to use today? What are we going to, what amazing cereal are we going to use to do this photo? We are going to use the trusty box of Weetabix. So in essence, we're going to have two Weetabix, one in each bowl, and then we're going to stick some fruit in there, and then we're going to go for it and see how we get on. So let's get these in the bowls, let's get the fruit in there, and let's see how we do. Okay, so here we are and we're back and we've got all the ingredients that we need. We've got two Weetabix, as you can see, uh, two biscuits from the Weetabix pack. And these things are incredibly bitty. I mean, you can see already in the bottom of this, uh, in the bottom of this plate here, there's just oodles of bits of flakes of cereal all over the place. We've got some fruit, a little bit of fruit to stick on there, and that's just purely and simply for the photo to make it more appetizing. We've got our bowl of jelly, uh, which is for the original, for the uh, photo shoot one, and we've got this, which is original OG bowl of cereal. And then we've got a bottle of milk, or a little bit of milk, um, and we have the all important Kraft PVA glue. Okay, first things first, we're going to take the first biscuit. Let's take the less bitty one. We're going to take the less bitty one, put that in the bowl there. Okay, we're going to tap this one, lay this on our uh, jelly, like so. So this one's obviously going to be a slightly little bit lower because that's got jelly in it and that hasn't, obviously. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the jelly one first. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I know that this one, this um, this original OG cereal bar uh, with the milk in, that's gonna that's gonna soak up the milk immediately because these things are like a sponge. Um, so we've got rid of, as you can see, we've got rid of all the bits and stuff that are in there. We're not gonna put those in either one of those two. Um, and we've got some fruit, a little bit closer look at the fruit, um, just so that you can see that we've got stuff and that we're we're all good. Okay, so first things first then. Let's get this guy um, pounded up. Okay, so taking the lid off. So this is a completely fresh bottle of um, PVA glue. So there's no, there's no, um, it's never been used before. So hopefully it goes better than the first time I did this where it came out like cottage cheese and we ended up having to get rid of the whole video. Okay, so. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Okay. 
Now I could probably pull this out a little bit quicker, but I'm mindful that I actually want to make sure that I don't go too crazy. Um, I don't want it just globbling out in one side and then end up having to get a spoon or something or a spatula to sort of sort it out as it were. So as long as it comes out, uh, we're good really. And we're just gently trying to fill this area up like so. Getting it all sorted. Making it look something like, and it does. I mean, already it already it looks a little bit like milk. I've got to be honest. And I thought, nah, this is definitely going to be one of those weird ass um, things where you you think, well, that didn't work, kind of thing. But um, it appears like it probably is going to. Now we've got it running down. It's not got a very good. Uh, seal on the top of the lid so and I'm just wondering how much milk you would have I can get rid of those little bits just uh, keep pouring it in keep pouring it in keep pouring it in Dan keep pouring it in so we get to a point where we think, yeah, that's enough. Anybody wondering what's happening to these bowls after I finish with them? I'm gonna throw them away, I think. I'm not sure anybody would want to eat out of a bowl that's been filled with PVA glue. I think that's probably going to be enough. Right. Okay. Next step is to dress it. So let's put a strawberry in there. Let's have one of the smaller strawberries on top. Put a couple of these in. Like that. And now let's do the same with the real OG uh, cereal bar. Roughly the same amount of milk in there. I'd say a tiny bit more. Don't want to get any on top if I can help it. Don't want to get any on top. And then uh, we've got big strawberry on the side, like so. Strawberry there, one there, and one there. And we can reposition this guy, and reposition that guy, like so. Okay, so we're done, and we've finished doing what we're gonna do. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave them for half an hour and see whether or not there's been any sort of movement in either one of them. Then we'll take a couple of photos and I'll post them photos so that we can see exactly what, what has gone off and how they came out. Okay, back after half an hour and let's do the scientific finger test and see where we're at. So, what's that on my finger? Uh, right, let's have a look and see where we're at. That is basically exactly the same as it was before. There's no change to this whatsoever. In fact, they haven't, they, in fact, moving them might be problematic if you wanted to, because they are stuck in place, which is pretty cool. I mean, if, if I was gonna be really, really sort of intricate about it, I guess I'd use tweezers to put these down in the place I actually wanted them put down. Um, let's have a look at this guy then, so. Right, so these move, no worries, and they've actually fell into the, into the, well, look like they fell into the, well, it won't hold away from the biscuit, as it were. 
biscuit itself, oh yeah, the biscuit itself is soggy and has started to expand around these edges. So that's not that's not amazing if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, that's that's sort of like it's basically done its job, um, but in doing that, it sort of splayed itself out a little bit. And there are some little bits and bobs in the milk that have floated off. So probably not the greatest. Let's take some photos and then we can put these photos up and we can see we can see where we're at. Truth be told, I really didn't think this was gonna work. And it actually, it really did work. It really, it really did take the place. PVA really did take the place of, of, of milk. And it meant you could adjust your photo, adjust the look of it, move stuff around and not, not impact the actual breakfast cereal in any way, shape or form. Whereas the milk version, that was still all right. It was still, it, was, it wasn't bad. Um, but it, it was just, it wasn't a photo. It wasn't photo quality photo uh, um, ability from the, the ingredients effectively. And the, essentially, the ingredients did exactly what they were supposed to do. They were, they're supposed to mush up, they're supposed to absorb the milk, they're supposed to, if anybody, why would you want to eat a dry cereal biscuit? You wouldn't. The idea is, is, is that it soaks the milk up and it's, it's perfect and that's great, but it doesn't look fresh on the photos. Um, it looks like it's been there for half an hour. It looks like it's been sat um, and sort of the milk. There's no con there's no sort of solidity to it, so the fruit doesn't really um, sort of hold in place. It's just sunk to the bottom, effectively, as it is. And the, the you know the reason you can see some of the fruit is because there's not that much milk in the bowl, really. If I'd put a bit more milk in there some of those fruit pieces would have just been completely submerged. And with the PVA glue, that just really isn't the case. So I guess the takeaway from this is, is that the video, the, the, the video that I re, uh, sort of react to, pretty amazing, really, pretty amazing. And if you're gonna take food photos, um, you know, think about using some of these things to take your food photos for the, you know, for the Instagram or wherever you're gonna put them. Um, and, and, and sort of like, just revel in the fact that there is a technique, an actual proper technique to taking food photos to make them look absolutely amazing. And it's partly to do with not using the actual ingredients, but using substitutes in order to get the best look. So with that, hope you did find this little sort of look back at a reaction video and a tryout of a food photo. Um, and uh, I hope you did find this pretty entertaining. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.